with your experiences, but yeah. I really enjoy it. It is very cool. Have you ever used it before? I have not. This is my first time. What have you looked at? Um, to go and exhibit. Yeah. Awesome. It's like super cool. It's very simple, yeah. isn't it? Not much yeah, yeah, to yeah. it. Yeah, just using cardboard tea. Like, yeah. Cardboard awesome. magnet. Yeah, cardboard <laughs> magnet. <laughs> this is just not real. <laughs> oh, my virtual hands. <laughs> my virtual hands are taking off my wrist right now. For over 20 years, I've been working to perfect motion control that let you experience virtual reality. Sixth Sense motion tracking technology is designed to precisely capture the user's every move. Now I can actually reach out into the virtual world and pick things up with my hands. Enabling both hardware and software developers to deliver the most immersive user experience ever. We started with wireless controllers. We delivered prototypes to both AAA and indie developers, and they loved it. With the STEM, we've addressed the key challenges of motion tracking. Our system tracks the exact position and orientation of each stem at all times. It eliminates drift and has no line of sight requirements and has the lowest latency on any consumer motion tracker. It really feels one-one, like a pure experience, just like you would have in real life. The STEM system, SDK, provides a robust platform for developers running on Windows, Mac, and Linux operating systems, with full integration of our SDK to Unity, Unreal, and Source game engines. The SDK includes the Sixth Sense InMotion engine, which we've used to develop the Portal 2 Motion Pack. And of course, the STEM system will be backwards compatible with all of the great applications developed for the Razer Hydra. We are really excited about this great technology, and we will make sure the Omni works well with the STEM. It's more than just a controller. It's a system that allows you to track points. Because of Sixth Sense motion tracking technology, we've been able to create completely new forms of gaming interaction and control. And that's a really rare thing to be able to say in today's gaming market. Samsung has made the exciting world of virtual reality a reality with Gear VR Innovator Edition. Powered by Oculus and the Galaxy Note 4, Gear VR is a virtual reality headset that lets you experience games, movies, and more like never before. You simply insert the Galaxy Note 4 into place and put it on. Then select Milk VR and get ready to be amazed. you're going to want some serious sound. Whoa, what a view. Gear VR plunges you into a totally immersive 360 environment. What do you think? It feels like I'm really there. You can see things from a whole new perspective. Ready for another adventure? Navigate menus, explore worlds, and play games by simply turning your head, swiping, and tapping the side-mounted touchpad. And now I'm on a safari. Gear VR brings the experience to life. And where are you? I'm in a really intense battle. Take that! Oh, direct hit! <laughs> Whoa. Looks like the best seat in the house. Up, down, side to side, even behind you. Everywhere you look, you're in the action. Wow and it all happens on the Super AMOLED screen on the Galaxy Note 4. The world of virtual reality is finally here. With Samsung Gear VR Innovator Edition, powered by Oculus and the Galaxy Note 4. Hi, I'm Paul Yost, Chief of Research and Development for YEI Technology. YEI Technology was founded in 1999 as a way to take academic research projects we were working on into the real world to do real things for real people. At the time, we were working primarily on natural language processing, AI, and robotics research. In the course of some of our dynamic robotics projects, we wound up needing accurate, real-time inertial sensor systems. Specifically, we needed systems that were highly accurate and offered real-time performance, yet were affordable for someone other than defense contractors with big budgets. Since nothing was available that offered high performance at an affordable price point, 
we decided to make our own solutions. From this grew the YI 3 space family of inertial sensors, which are affordable yet offer accuracy and performance comparable to, or better than, competing solutions that are 5 or 10 or 20 times the cost. The family of sensors has grown over the years, and now YI 3 space sensors are being used in every major market segment, including robotics, healthcare, defense, aerospace, industry, and also entertainment in the form of motion capture, virtual reality, and immersive simulation. With the Prio VR project, we're changing the game again this time by creating a high-quality inertial motion capture system that is affordable for the masses. Our goal is to bring professional-quality motion capture technology to you, thus making it possible to immersively step into games or other VR environments naturally. Projects like Oculus Rift allow you to have a window into virtual worlds. Projects like the Virtuix Omni allow you to walk through these worlds. Until now, however, there hasn't been a way to truly put yourself into those worlds in a way that would allow natural, full-body interaction. Prio VR will solve this by allowing you to see your body, use your limbs, and interact naturally with the virtual world. It will provide 360 degrees of high-performance real-time inertial motion capture without the need of cameras, optics, or line of sight. The system will be wireless, allow multiple simultaneous users, and will work anywhere, indoors or out. The current prototype uses our existing wireless free space sensors. The Prio VR will use newly designed sensors that will be much smaller, along with a centralized wearable wireless hub architecture that will reduce latency and improve wireless performance while also reducing costs. All systems will be expandable and customizable to suit your needs. The Prio VR SDK and API will allow you to integrate Prio VR's full body motion capture into your game or your project. This Kickstarter supports us in making the next generation of VR and motion capture affordable for everyone. We want to take games and VR to the next level and finally deliver on the promise of natural feeling, full body immersion. My name is Paul Merlucky and I'm a virtual reality enthusiast and the designer of The Rift. Games are something I'm really passionate about, and even more than playing games, I'm passionate about bringing games to the next level. What we're doing at Oculus is trying to create the world's best virtual reality headset designed very specifically for gaming. Where this all started was in my parents' garage in Long Beach, California, and I was interested in stereoscopic displays, I was interested in head mounts, and the problem was there was nothing that gave me the experience that I wanted, the matrix, where I can plug in and actually be in the game. And I was sure that somewhere out there there was something that I could buy, and the reality is there's nothing. I set out to change that with the Oculus Rift. The magic that sets the Rift apart is immersive stereoscopic 3D rendering, a massive field of view, and ultra low latency head tracking. John Carmack is one of the best developers in the world. The Doom, Quake, Commander Keen. Carmack saw some of my work. That's originally when he reached out to me. For a certain segment of the population, the hacker maker crowd, this is going to be awesomely cool to work with. What I've got now is, I honestly think the best VR demo probably the world's ever seen. We're certainly going to take this into our future projects. So. We're getting involved in Oculus now because we see an incredible opportunity here for game developers to experience something new. The Rift is taking years of virtual reality research and putting it into a package that everyone can use. So I recently had a chance in person to check out the Oculus headset and needless to say, I'm a believer. Uh, even as a prototype, what I saw was extremely promising. We're extremely excited here at Epic Games to get the Unreal Engine integrated with Oculus. And I think the possibilities for the games are extremely exciting and I'm thrilled for the whole project. Well, I gotta say, I just tried the Oculus prototype and it was such an immersive, amazing experience that we pretty quickly, like within an hour, decided to get behind this project. I got to meet Palmer Lucky and try out the Oculus Rift. And I have to say it was a very exciting moment. Could be the beginning of a whole new industry that leads us eventually to having true augmentation all the time, every place. And I'm really looking forward to getting a chance to program with it and to see what we can do. It looks incredibly exciting. If anybody's going to tackle these set of hard problems, we think that Palmer's going to do it. So we'd strongly encourage you to support this Kickstarter. In the past, I've looked at these VR headsets and head-mounted displays, and this is the first one that I've seen that I was truly impressed with. There's a lot of great head-mounted displays out there, but they're all really, really expensive, up to over $100,000. What the Rift does is it makes a high-end virtual reality experience available to the average gamer. 
So most consumer head mounted displays have a diagonal field of view of about 30 or 40 degrees. You see a really small image way off in the distance and it doesn't make you feel like you're there. With the Oculus Rift, you get a diagonal field of view of 110 degrees. That means you're not looking at a screen anymore. You actually feel like you're inside of the world. You don't see the screen when you put it on your eyes and that just changes the whole ballgame. One of the biggest problems with virtual reality up to this point is latency. The benefit of the Rift is that it's designed to be really, really low latency. So rather than looking like this and you turn your head and then it follows, it actually follows with your view no matter what you do. There are two reasons why this is possible now with Oculus, is that the displays are very high density and very lightweight and are very small and the sensors that sense your head position and your turning in your virtual environment are also very low cost. The reason we're using Kickstarter is so that we can get these dev kits into the hands of developers as fast as possible. That way they can try it for themselves and start integrating support into their games and engines. We really need developer feedback so that we can make the consumer version of this even more incredible than it already is. I mean, Greatest Decay is simply about a great developer experience where they get a really functional piece of software which is efficient and scales with their needs. So for indie developers, doing this Kickstarter, really getting it out there early, not waiting till we have a consumer version, allows them to get started as well. If you want to be one of the first to try the Rift, grab a dev kit. We'll provide access to our SDK, Unreal and Unity engine integrations, and a copy of Doom 3 BFG Edition, the first Oculus Ready game. So join the revolution, make a pledge, and help us change gaming forever.